Hello to all you Fire Alarm and Siren fans on YouTube. It is FS Thunderbolt Fan 1000 here with another Siren video. As always, if you're pretty much coming to my channel, chances are is what you're going to be seeing is a Siren video. Today we're going to be talking about how Sirens are activated via telephone wires or telephone relay. It has been a common question more through more now than ever in the Siren community because we're not seeing so much of this technology anymore. Everything is more via radio you don't see this too much even in small towns because they'll just usually they'll just have like one siren set you can just activate it if you're doing it local via uh, some sort of push button to make it go off but so we're going to be talking about this antiquated technology the telephone relay so let's get into it now so before us today is what we have is a bell systems relay set model number ks one six six two six L eight. This is your standard relay set that was used with many federal signal systems back in the day. This one came from Sheboygan. It came with my Model Two T. It was in the control box. I didn't know what it was at first. Me and the electrician in Sheboygan, the city electrician, thought that this was a lightning arrestor of some sort at first. But then once I looked at it, I knew it was a ring relay. Because up until 2014, no, not 2014, 2018, well, 17, man, I keep getting my years confused, but 2017, when the new system went in, everything was still controlled by a ring relay. So back in 1962, if you watched my old video of the Sheboygan Siren history, I'll put the link in the description below, and that goes over all the history of Sheboygan Sirens throughout the years, but they used these and in the early times the they had an AR timer of some sort in the old police chief's office down at City Hall but the City Hall is currently undergoing renovations so hopefully the city pulled the, the AR out of the City Hall and maybe even the transformer set for activating these re ring relays out and hopefully they have it otherwise it's probably been lost to time I made my best to try and get it but oh well we can't live in the past but yeah, all 12 sirens in the city at the time were controlled with these. These are the earliest ones. These, This one was attached to one of the Model 2s that was a part of the original system from 1959, I think it was. And then the rest of the system has it. The, I have photos of the ring relay at Farnsworth Thunderbolt and the Horseman Thunderbolt. The Horseman Thunderbolt has a newer style ring relay, and this is an older style one. This is a, what you call a can relay, because it's kind of in a can, but it's a ring relay set. So if we open it up here, you'll find your standard relay set. So this is a relay, and what happens is when it the phone rings or something, like ring voltage is like 90 volts DC at, I don't know how many hertz it might say on here. I don't know. Oh, it says on the transformer itself. 90 volts DC at 20 hertz. Well, no, it'd be 19 vol tw 90 volts AC at 20 hertz, because it doesn't change uh, DC. So when that 90 volts would come through, this would connect, ca causing the two contacts contacts to go together and activate the siren via motor starter. So, yeah, it's a pretty simple system. you got your relay here that engages when the, the ring voltage comes in, and then some sort of uh, resistor in there. I don't know how many uh, amp resistor it is, but because I'm not too good with the color coding, but I'm sure someone in the description can tell me how many amps this resistor is. Now, on the other side, you just have your terminals over here. You have a bunch of screws over here. I'm not quite sure what these do. But this is your common, I think it's C, and then H, I don't know what H is, and then L. So, yeah, if you guys know what it is, feel free to let me know in the description. But, and then it says, yeah, it's got a coil, and then it even says, okay, so at 115 volts, it will pull 5, it's rated at 5 amps, and then for 230 volts, it's rated at 2 amps. So, it can pull a fair amount. 
Like you can run a fair amount through it. It's enough to power a motor starter, but you cannot use it to control a siren directly. Like run the siren voltage through these contacts because of how small they are. They're fairly small, so I wouldn't really trust it. So now we're going to go into how this would be wired up in a regular situation. I do not have a transformer that can make ring relay voltage, and the transformer that I'm going to show is like not what you would use to make this work. So let's get into it. Okay, so here we have is the whole setup. Your transformer that's theoretically making the ring voltage, your AR or AF timer. These systems were capable of being uh, either in a fire siren system, so if you had a system of 3T22s or 1003s to alert your volunteers, or even a coded STH-10, these they could control those too. And so the AF timer is basically being the switch that controls the ring voltage going out versus being directly attached to a siren relay to control it locally, like for one siren. So inside you would have the ring voltage come in and it the one side of it would come into terminal in an AF timer theoretically it will differ between AR and AF timer the terminals by one because an AF can do more things so that means there's more terminal blocks so your power to the AF timer would come in to if you're running it on 120 would be 9 and 10 if 240 would be 10 and 8 to control the to the air raid signal so your ring voltage let's say city of Sheboygan if this was being if this would be an AR timer the voltage coming in to the air raid signal would be on terminals would be on terminals uh, 3 yeah you would have the one part of the ring voltage coming into terminal 3 and then the other one would go directly to the relay. And then you would hook up the other part going to the ring relay, the other wire going to the ring relay, to terminal 2 because that's what controls the air aid signal frequency. So whether you're pressing alert or attack, it controls terminal block 2. So it would go, it would switch allowing current to go from 2 to 3 wherever these wheels are so if the cam is down in a groove it will allow voltage to go from ter terminal blocks 2 to th well, 3 to 2 and out to the ring relay so it's no different than a fancy light switch all an ARF timer is, a fancy, is, is it is a fancy light switch so then that would go to the ring relay at the siren site now like I said if you're using this for like if cities were going to use this for uh, fire siren capabilities, you would need two ring relays. You can't just use one because otherwise it's not going to work because you're controlling two different signal, well, three different signals. But alert and attack is fine. You don't ne need two ring relays for that. So then, when, let's say you press alert. But, well, yeah, that's just the box. You press alert, what would happen is this is already going to the ring relay and then once you press alert it's going to send the other half the positive or the negative since it's running on AC it's flickering back 20 times a second because that's ring voltage 20 vo no, I meant 90 volts AC at 20 hertz so then it completes the circuit allowing the ring relay to engage then causing the motor starter to engage activating your siren now these systems are faulty because if at any time these two wires like uh, connect the circuit together, complete the circuit, you're going to cause the ring relay to engage and make the motor starter engage then setting off your sirens in your system. And cities up in current times, even Lamira and Dodge County is a perfect example of this. In 2017, I think, is either 2016 or 2017, they were having problems with their ring relays on their sirens and it would cause their sirens to go off by themselves because if you think about it there's probably over in Lemire at least 25 miles of dedicated phone lines going between a central control point to the other sites that have the ring relays to activate the sirens so that's why you don't see these too much nowadays 
and on federal systems they had the ring relay power maker transformer it was called the federal signal PS in later times and in the earlier days the TR I don't really know what it stands for some people say it stands for federal signal transformer but other ones claim it stands for federal signal telephone relay so I don't know but in the later days PS stands for federal signal power supply so if you have any questions about this and how this works, hopefully it solves it and hopefully this can shed a little more light into seeing how siren systems used to work back in the day. If you enjoy this video and want to see more about it, more like this one, please consider dropping me a comment saying, hey, I liked it or no, you didn't. And if you want to see more, whether it is tech videos about how siren systems worked or how to wire an AF timer or something like that, considering subscribing because I try to post at least one video a week whether it's a siren test or a tech video this week we're probably gonna have two this one and then the model 5 that I filmed a couple of weeks back so hopefully enjoyed you enjoyed the video please rate comment and subscribe